Hi, I'm David, also known as the Notion Coach. And this is just a quick walkthrough of the Manifest Playbook, how it works, and some additional tables and resources that are in here that allow you to kind of dive into each of these topics individually and hopefully get some more out of uh, the playbook. So on this homepage, uh, we have this navigation at the top left. So this will give you quick access to each of these sections, allowing you to kind of jump around and you know go back and forth between sections. And if we scroll down a little bit to the middle of the page, each page has a conversation call out. So comments are open to everybody who has access to this playbook. So there are questions associated with, e with each of these topics and curious to get questions, comments, challenges, ideas, feedback from you all. And in the scenario that I could be helpful with those, I'll definitely add a reply in there as well. But when you see these conversation callouts, you should also see a comment bubble at the top or toward the right. And or if you've got comments expanded, which is a new Notion feature, you can have them accessible from the right hand side as well. So if you see those, definitely drop a comment in, in those chapters. And if we get to the bottom of each page, there's a few navigation tips to help you jump back and forth. So on the bottom left hand side, each of these are linked to each section. So we can see here, if you hover, we've got starting with vision, which is the next section, or you can jump ahead to the link at the right. So each of these are active links to help jump back and forth because there's quite a little, lot of content in the playbook. A couple other things that I wanted to call out are at the top left, every page has a set of databases that we're referencing. So in this case, when we're talking about vision, goals, objectives, those databases are linked at the top left for you to kind of dive in and see not only what they look like, but what properties are added in that database, what other databases are related. For example, if we jump into goals, we can see here some examples of not only the goals, but what areas are they a part of, some key properties here, like why is this goal important? What are some perceived challenges? Are they tied to specific objectives, which is another database? And what is the priority of that goal? So in some scenarios, there's multiple views. So definitely take a look at the top left drop down. So in this case, we also have a gallery view, which is more minimal and really just has the goal and what area it's a part of. So something to keep in mind there. Also, you just got a quick summary at the top right on what is this chapter about, if it's of interest. In some cases, we also have some key terms. So aligning on these terms, whether they're used in databases or to describe certain actions, just so that we know what exactly is happening when we talk about, for example, the difference between vision, goal, and objective, which took me quite a bit to really grasp the difference. So I wanted to make sure that added there. Got another conversation call out here. And the last point is anytime we introduce a new database, there's a little bit of a breakdown as to what relations are happening in that database here and also what additional properties are being tracked or viewed. So in the case of goals, we can see that they're tied to objectives area and our journal, which are all their own da databases. And we're also tracking things like challenges, purpose, and priority. So just to give a little bit of more insight as to how these databases are constructed and in what ways they're connected. And we can see the same thing happens here again with the objectives database where the connection's happening. And then also in this case, there's only one additional property, which is the status of that objective. So that's just a quick overview of the playbook and how it's organized. Um, very eager to share this with all of you and see what you think. So if you're going through and you see one of these conversation callouts, definitely drop a comment in there and let me know what you think. Thanks.